welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this episode of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. In a pickup from Mitsubishi, the Strata Athlete Black Series, and a subcompact sedan from Toyota, the Vios GRS. On Autopedia, we'll talk about changing the oil in your car, together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry. We shall have the highlights of the Hyundai Philippines Adventure in Cebu as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. Thinking of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex Philippines on May 4-7 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive the latest models from Ford, GAC, GWM, Honda, Hyundai, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota, and WM. The Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, presented by Caltex Philippines. The one-stop shop for the latest car models in cooperation with SM offices at SM Mall of Asia Complex. Kailangan ng maaasahan, kailangan ng matibay, pang matagalan kasama mo sa pag-unlad ng negosyo, modernong disenyo, kaya-kaya ang cargo mo. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this episode of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Mitsubishi. There's something about black that appeals to many, with clothes, accessories, and vehicles. Mitsubishi is apparently tapping into this by coming up with the Black Series Special Edition variants of its model lineup that includes the Expander, the Montero, and the Strada. The Black Series models sport Mitsubishi's special jet black Mica. By the way, the Black Series also comes in white. But here we are concentrating on the Black Series featuring jet black Mica that projects a tough and aggressive, yet a sleek look that Mitsubishi is going for. This is especially true in the Mitsubishi Strada Athlete Black Series Edition. All in black, the Mitsubishi Strada Athlete looks even more, well, athletic. The black trimmings on the front dynamic shield grille, the side mirrors with turn signals and styling bar. Blacked out rear spoiler and front bumpers as well as the 18-inch black alloy rim strap by 26560 or 18 tires all make the Strada Athlete stand out even more rumbling down the road or even while just parked. The side decals that extend from the rear door to the tailgate also make the Strada Athlete all the more an attention magnet. The blacked out Strada Athlete looms even larger with its listed dimensions, 5,305mm long, 1,815mm wide and 1,795mm tall with a 3,000mm long wheelbase and 220mm minimum ground clearance. For those who'd like to know, the interior dimensions of the Strada Athlete pickup bed are as follows. 1,520mm long, 1,470mm wide, and 475mm high. It also comes with cargo hooks. Mitsubishi rolled out the Black Series editions of the Strada Athlete 4-wheel drive AT and Strada Athlete 2-wheel drive. Some exterior features shared by both include daytime running lights, LED headlamps and leveling device, LED type rear combination lamps, front under cover, front skid plate, front and rear fog lamps, high mount stop lamp, door sash, variable intermittent windshield wipers with washer, front towing hook. Yeah. 
and Black Series Edition features the same interior features and trim of the Strada Athlete. Orange and black leather upholstery with the athlete park for the seat and trims. Leather wrapped orange stitching on gear shift and the parking brake lever that match the door trim. The four spoke steering wheel tilts and telescope is wrapped by leather with orange stitching and comes with switches and buttons for audio and cruise control. The driver's seat power just eight waist. The front seats have adjustable headrests. The rear bench seat for three also has three adjustable headrests as well as a fold down center armrest. The dash features gloss black and silver accents and an instrument panel with high contrast meter and LCD type multi-information display which can be controlled by switches on the steering wheel. Standard comfort and convenience features include power windows, power door locks, bottle holders and door pockets and doors, cup holders, on floor console and rear center armrest, grab handles, sunglass holder, map lamp, day and night room mirror. The Strata Athlete comes with what Mitsubishi calls keyless operation system and smart keyless entry. There's a single zone automatic air conditioning system on the two wheel drive, dual zone with rear air circulator on the four wheel drive. The infotainment system features a 7 inch touchscreen display with AM, FM, GPS navigation, Bluetooth, auxiliary in, and USB ports and mirror link. It plays through six speakers. There are also twin USB ports in the rear for charging gadgets. For those who still use them, there's a cigarette lighter as well as an ashtray. Parking the Strata pickup is no longer challenging with reverse camera on the athlete with the four-wheel drive also getting reverse sensors. The Strata is powered by a 2.4-liter Mivec intercooled and turbocharged direct injection diesel engine that generates 181 horsepower and 430 Nm of torque. The Strata athlete is only available with a 6-speed automatic transmission complemented by Teptronic paddle shifters. The Athlete 4-wheel drive comes in Super Select 4-wheel drive with off-road mode. The suspension system is your standard front independent wishbone with coil spring and rigid elliptical leaf springs in the rear. The brake system features ventilated disc in front and leading trailing drums in the rear. The Strata comes standard with anti-lock brake system, electronic brake force distribution, and brake assist. Standard safety features also include driver and passenger side airbags, 3-point ELR seat belster 5, heater anchors and isofix, speed sensing door locks, laminated windshield. The Black Series Strata Athlete two-wheel drive already comes with active stability and traction control, hill start assist and hill descent control. The four-wheel drive variant gets a fuller complement of driver assist functions that include hill descent control. Forward Collision Mitigation System, Ultrasonic Missile Acceleration Mitigation System, Wide Spot Warning System, and Auto High Beam. Full tank capacity is placed at 75 liters. The latest auto industry news and development right after this break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track and the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart racing, exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS. Bring on the thrill. Are you thinking of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Summer Multi Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex Philippines on May 4 7 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive a wide range of the newest models, all in one venue. The Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, presented by Caltex Philippines. The one-stop shop for the latest car models in cooperation with SM Offices and SM Mall of Asia Complex. Welcome back to Autofocus. We now have the latest auto industry news. It's been a long wait, but the Grand Cherokee is back. The Auto Nation Group has launched the all-new Jeep Grand Cherokee L, which is Jeep's premier SUV designed to be the classic epitome of luxury that is meant to be shared across generations. 
Uh, today we're here in BGC Amphitheater. We're launching the new Grand Cherokee L after four years of being out in the automotive market. So it makes its return in the Philippine automotive market uh, bigger and better than ever. The Grand Cherokee brought to our shores is the first to have three rows of seats for seven, upholstered in premium leather. Aside from luxurious trim and posh accents, the Grand Cherokee L comes with a lot of the latest comfort and convenience features expected in luxury SUVs, as well as infotainment and smart connectivity features that are not as commonplace. The new Grand Cherokee made available locally is powered by a 3.6-liter V6 engine that generates 282 horsepower and 344 Nm of torque, and comes with 4x4 all-wheel off-roading capability. The local distributors targeting the all-new Jeep Grand Cherokee LF ambitious and driven individuals who have attained stature and professional success and who take pride in having built a close-knit home. A Jeep Grand Cherokee L uh, is priced at 5,490,000 and we think that is a steal for the, the size, the amount of technology you get and the performance that you can expect. The all-new BMW 7 Series has finally made it to our shores. Local BMW distributor SMC Asia Car Distributors Corp. has launched two variants of the latest generation 7 Series, including the full electric BMW i7. We have two what you call variants or flavors for the 7 Series. It's the 735i and the i7. First ever luxury full electric sedan from BMW. And I think it's the first also in the segment uh, that we're launching in an all-electric version. So the all-new 7 is it's actually the seventh generation of the 7 series right now. So we're very happy to be able to bring it to the Filipino motoring public. The BMW 735i is powered by a 3-liter twin-power turbo inline 6-cylinder gasoline engine generating 286 horsepower and 425 Nm of torque made into an 8-speed Steptronic Sport automatic transmission. In the i7, we have two electric motors powering the front and the rear wheels because it's a BMW X-Drive. And because it's uh, what we're having here is the i760 version, this means that this has uh, a lot of power and it has over 600 kilometers of uh, range for the electric charge. BMW Philippines says the response and use of the arrival of the 7 Series, especially the flagship i7, has been positive. We'd like to invite everyone to take a look at the 735i, uh, which is available in all our showrooms throughout the, the country, you know, whether it be Pampanga, Otto Ali, in Green Hills, Libis, or in Cebu. The i7 will be initially be available in both our Libis and in our Green Hills RSA Motors uh, dealerships. Come by to all our dealerships, take a look at our cars, and see for yourself the all-new 7 Series. Honda Cars Philippines Inc. and the Gateway Motor Group held back-to-back -back inaugurations of two new dealerships. One is the refurbished and renamed Honda Cars Kenta. The other is a newly relocated Honda Cars Fairview. Both dealerships managed by the Gateway Motor Group now exhibit Honda's new visual identity. So this is basically a big event no, for Honda Cars Philippines because we just inaugurated two dealerships. No? And this is basically a back-to-back -back, uh, inauguration. We started this morning in Honda Cars Kainta and now we are in Honda Cars Fairview. So what we did to this dealership is basically to apply the new visual identity of the dealers. Now, if you're going to see here, there is basically a new facilities. No? We have applied the concept of uh, active uh, customer reception in which uh, the priority is uh, to the needs of our customer. You know, Honda has been known for that, prioritizing the needs of the customer. So we improved the facilities in order to focus on that. The new and improved Honda Cars Cainta sits on a 3,600 square meter lot on 22 Ortigas Avenue extension in Cainta Rizal and features a 250 square meter showroom and a 2,000 square meter service workshop. Honda Cars Fairview has been relocated to a bigger and more strategic location at the Neapolitan Business Center in Fairview, Quezon City. With a 550 square meter showroom and 2,000 square meter workshop, Honda Cars Fairview claims to be the biggest Honda dealership in the country. We decided to transfer to a bigger and better facility. More prime location as well. Gateway trusts its partnership with Honda will continue to strengthen and grow. And we have uh, confidence in the Honda brand because it's very reputable. So it's been around uh, the Philippines for many years. Filipinos trust it. So we're confident with its direction. So as mentioned, we are eager to invest heavily in Honda.
because we truly believe in its potential. Hotokar's Philippines Inc. has introduced its new president during a ceremonial turnover held at the Crimson Hotel in Alaba. Ms. Ria Miyake replaces Masahiko Nakamura, who has taken on a new assignment for Honda in South Korea. Ms. Ria Miyake held different management posts at Honda Motor Co. LTD headquarters in Japan, as well as overseas markets in North and South Korea. At the turnover ceremony, Ms. Ria Miyake vowed to continue the initiative started by her predecessor. First of all, I'm really excited for my new role and I am going to take over what the former president has done in this country and then I also want it to improve the, all the operation in sales and after sales so that we can provide the value to the customers and a more satisfying uh, customer experience to the people in the Philippines. So that's uh, my plan. Also at the turnover ceremony, Mr. Masahiko Nakamura, whose stint in the country was made difficult by the COVID-19 pandemic, expressed his gratitude for the support from Honda customers and partners, as well as his optimism for the brand's continued success under the new HCPI president, Ms. Ria Miyake. Thank you very much again for your strong support to our business. I was very happy even during the pandemic period. We can still keep the strong brand in the Philippines, and I hope Please support our new incoming president, Ms. Rie Miyake. So she will guide HCPI to much more higher level of the business in the future. Yeah. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex Philippines on May 4-7 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive the latest models from Ford, GAC, GWM, Honda, Hyundai, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota, and WM. The Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, presented by Caltex Philippines. The one-stop shop for the latest car models in cooperation with SM offices and SM Mall of Asia Complex. Who said happiness can only be found on the ground? Next generation Ford Ranger. Do the undone. Reserve yours now on Ford.com.ph or at your nearest Ford dealer. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile models belong to the same category on Head to Head. This edition of Head to Head pits one of the latest entrants in the mid-size SUV segment. The next-gen Ford Everest Titanium Plus 4x4 automatic transmission against the Toyota Fortuner GRS 4x4 automatic transmission in a spec-to-spec -spec comparo. The competition in the mid-size SUV segment just got harder with the arrival of the next-gen Ford Everest, which Ford tout sets the standard in class. But does it really? Let's check out what the flagship next-gen Ford Everest Titanium Plus 4x4 AT offers to buyers against the top-of-the-line Fortuner GRS 4x4 AT also offers. 
the next-gen Everest is on the larger end of the mid-size SUV segment at 4,914mm long, 1,923mm wide, and 1,842mm tall, with a 2,900mm long wheelbase and 227 mm minimum ground clearance. The 4200 GS variant is listed at 4,795mm long, 1,855mm wide, and 1,835mm tall with a 2,475mm long wheelbase. The new Everest looks tougher and more muscular with sharp horizontal and vertical lines on the fast drive profile, the c clamp headlamps and prominent horizontal bar with the blue oval front and center. The Titanium Plus is distinguished from lesser variants by its chrome front grille, matrix LED headlights, panoramic moonroof, puddle lamps and the power lift gate that can be activated with foot movement. Standard and all next-gen variants rolled out locally are daytime running lamps, auto on off headlights, follow me home lights, front and rear fog lamps, LED taillights with full width design, high mount stop lamp, power folding and power adjustable side turn indicators, side steps, roof rails, front and rear splash guards, and front and rear tow hooks. The Titanium Plus also features rain sensing wipers. The Fortuner GRS comes in a host of Gazoo Racing inspired design accents starting with the GR badge on mesh type front grille with a bitone finish and the GR design 18 inch alloy wheels with a machine cut finish wrap by 26560 R18 tires. It also features a body colored back door varnish and outside door handles, split type LED headlamps and LED daytime running lights with line guide, sequential front current signal lamps and front fog lamps, rear LED combination lamps with line guide, sequential signal and bulb light. Locking chrome door belt molding, front and rear mud guards, roof rails, blacked outside view mirrors with Belcom lat that power doesn't fold. Additionally, the Fortuner GRS boasts of a power tailgate with kick sensor function for hands free operation. The next gen Everest comes with smart keyless entry and push button start. The large and roomy cabin of the Titanium Plus sits 17 seats upholstered in prime reel and synthetic leather. The driver and front passenger seats feature 8 way power adjust function. The second row seats for 3 slide forward. The 50-50 folding seats for two in the third row fold electronically. Both second and third row seats fold flat to provide room for longer and wider stuff. While driver and front seat passenger enjoy the center console with dual cup holder, recesses as well as the dash mounted pop out cup holders. Those in the second and third row seats also have places to store their things as well as a 12 volt power outlet to charge mobile phones, tablets and other devices. The Titanium Plus features a 230 volt inverter in the rear console and 12 inch digital display for the instrument cluster. The leather wrap steering wheel features controls for the audio integrated mobile phone systems, although the Everest comes with voice operated systems. Other comfort and convenience features in the next gen Titanium Plus 4x4 include power windows, auto dimming rear view mirror, dual zone electronic automatic temperature control, ambient lighting, driver and front passenger with sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors. The Ford Tuner GRS features the GR badge on the leather wrap steering wheel, which tilts and telescopes and comes with paddle shifter and controls for the multi information display and cruise control. The cabin comes with suede and leather upholstery for seat and trim as well as smoke silver metallic matte carbon and red stitching accents. Driver and front seat passenger enjoy 8-way power adjusting seats. The second row seat for a 3 split 60-40 slides and reclines and comes with one touch tumble function as well as center armrest. The third row seat reclines and splits 50-50. Other company convenient features include smart keyless entry and push button start system, dual zone auto climate control as well as power windows with auto up down function and jam protection. Speed sensing door locks, power tailgate with kick sensor, glove box, cool box, 10 cup and bottle holders, room and door courtesy lamps, and two 12 volt accessory outlets. The Everest Titanium Plus boasts a 12 inch high resolution touchscreen that comes with the latest Sync 4A communication and entertainment system that already uses cloud technology. The system features enhanced voice recognition, wireless Apple CarPlay, and Android auto compatibility. While USB connections are available, there's a pad for wireless charging. The Fortuner GRS infotainment system comes with an 8-inch display audio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Smart Device Link, as well as AM, FM radio, Bluetooth, USB, voice command, as well as a JBL 9 speaker system. The GRS also touts wireless charger and two USB charging ports in the rear, as well as a 212 volt accessory outlets. The Everest Titanium Plus 4x4 is powered by a 2.0 liter bi turbo diesel engine that generates a maximum of 210 PS at 3,500 RPM and 500 Nm of torque from 1,750 to 2,000 RPM. This is mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission with an electronic shifter. The next gen Everest Titanium Plus powertrain features a terrain management system that provides six on and off road drive modes normal, eco, tow haul, slippery, mud ruts, or sand to help master all sorts of terrain. The 4x4 variant also comes complete with an electronic locking rear differential. 
The briefer the next-gen Everest also called refined handling on all sorts of terrain. Ford said the solution was to use an updated chassis, wider track, and refined suspension system that features double wishbone with coil spring and anti-roll bar in front and coil spring with watts link and anti-roll bar. The brake system uses ventilated discs on all four wheels. The Ford Tudor GRS is powered by Toyota's 1GD FTV high diesel engine. This is a 2,755 four-cylinder inline 16-valve DOHC diesel engine with variable nozzle turbo and air-cooled intercooler. This provides a Ford Tudor 204 PS and 500 Nm of torque, mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission and with a 4x4 drivetrain. The Ford Tudor GRS is both comfortable and capable in on paved byways and highways and unpaved roads and trails. The 4x4 drivetrain comes with differential lock with auto disconnect function. And in these days of diesel costing nearly as much or more than gasoline, depending on the whims of oil companies, the Ford Tudor GRS comes with two drive modes, Eco and Sport. Eco being more important for everyday driving, Sport coming in handy for weekend adventures. The GR treatment comes to four in the suspension and the brakes. The Ford Tudor GRS suspension got upgraded with monotube shock absorbers for the double wishbones up front and the multi-link system in the rear. The brake system uses ventilated discs on all four wheels along with GR brake calipers. Only the next-gen Everest Titanium Plus 4x4 comes with advanced driver assistive safety technologies that include adjustable speed limiter, adaptive cruise control with stop-and-go and lane centering, blind spot information system with cross-traffic alert and braking, pre-collision assist, lane departure warning and lane keeping system, auto high beam, distance alert and distance information, forward collision warning, driver alert system, reverse braking assist, hill descent control, ESP with traction control system and electric brake booster, tire pressure monitoring system. The top-of-the-line Everest also comes with 360-degree camera and front and rear parking sensors to aid with parking inside spaces. But it can also park the Everest for you with the Active Park Assist 2.0. Just hold down the Park Aid button and trust the system to park the Everest for you. Other standard safety and security features in the Everest are the Hill Launch Assist with rollover mitigation, electronic parking brake, 7 airbags including side and curtain and knee airbags, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, security alarm system, ELR safety belts, and child seat isofix anchor points. The GRS powertrain and chassis provide both a comfortable and confident ride for a mid-sized SUV that is, on varied road conditions, including off-road. This is helped along by a power steering system with variable full control that make turning the wheel feel light when going slow and progressively harder with speed. Also adding to confidence are the passive and active safety features that come standard in every Ford tuner. Anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist. Vehicle stability control with traction control. Hill start assist. The GRS is also fitted with Toyota Safety Sense, an advanced collision prevention system that includes pre-collision system, lane departure alert, and adaptive cruise control as well as blind spot monitoring and rear cross-traffic alert. Also added for safety and security in the Ford Tuner GRS are 3-point ELR seatbelts for 7, with seatbelt reminder and pre-tensioner and adjustable seatbelt anchors for driver and front passenger, child restraint system using isofix and tether anchors, child lock and rear doors, the Toyota vehicle security system featuring an immobilizer and alarm. Being the latest to arrive on the scene, the next-gen Everest Titanium Plus appears to hold the edge in the benchmark setting features. But the Toyota Fortuner GRS 4x4 can hold its own in the spec department. Asahan kailangan na matibay Pang matagalan kasama mo sa pag-unlad ng negosyo Modernong disenyo, kaya-kaya ang cargo mo Nang tatak na ito Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu Level up mo ang iyong negosyo Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu Level up with Isuzu Trap is Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph
Are you thinking of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex Philippines on May 4-7 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive a wide range of the newest models, all in one venue. The Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex Philippines. The one-stop shop for the latest car models in cooperation with SM Offices and SM Mall of Asia Complex. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. The islands of Cebu and Mactan have a lot of thirsty attractions that will make for great road trips, especially on board vehicles like the Creta and the Stargazer. Hyundai Motor Philippines was happy to provide motoring journalists the chance to enjoy both sites and vehicles. We are now in the first ever Hyundai Motor Philippines Ride and Drive featuring our uh, Stargazer and Creta. So we are now here in uh, Lakeview uh, Lejardin in Cebu. Right now, the objective of the drive is we want uh, our media friends to uh, experience the, the drive, the performance and the comfort of the, the Creta and the Stargazer. This uh, this event is very important uh, for first of all for the media friends really to experience. I think media friends would also would like to to share it in the uh, in the buying market. We chose Cebu because we do acknowledge that this is, this is one of the most important market for the Hyundai brand. And upon going here, we saw a lot of scenic places that we want to highlight for this test drive event. Plus, we saw some terrains that would be best to test drive the vehicles that were mentioned earlier, which is the Creta and Stargazer. Initially, we started off at the uh, main city. We did experience some traffic which highlighted the uh, fuel efficiency and drivability and comfort of the Hyundai Creta and Stargazer. And from there, we went uphill uh, going to this place, La Hardine, where in, apart from the uphill part where in the engine was fully tested, there are a lot of twisty uh, roads that also showcase the safety features of the Creta and Stargazer. We would like to invite everyone to visit our, uh, our showrooms uh, nationwide. So uh, please check out our Creta, the Stargazer, the Staria, the Tucson, the Santa Fe, and the H100. So experience Hyundai. Thank you. Before the COVID-19 pandemic messed up school year schedules and climate change began messing with our dry and wet seasons, this is just about the time of the year for summer road trips. The Creta and Stargazer would certainly help make for enjoyable ones. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the Toyota we go. Are you into grassroots racing? Slaloms, autocross, time attacks, and circuit racing. Do you like to keep your daily ride in tip-top condition? Do you want to improve the performance and ride of your vehicle? Then head over to Fixed Stop Auto Service along 91 Congressional Avenue, Project 8 in Kazan City. 
fixed stop auto service can level up the performance and ride of your daily rider weekend racer of all brands, models, and makes from Japanese, American, European, and all other global manufacturers. Fixed Stop Auto Service offers preventive maintenance services as well as upgrades of brakes, suspension, and other mechanical works. Fixed Stop also caters to all your needs for performance tires and accessories to make your dream vehicle stand out on the road or for just your enjoyment. For appointments, call 0917-803-8283 or message us on our Facebook page www.facebook.com slash fixedstopautoservice. Are you thinking of buying a car but don't know what model you want? Then visit the Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex Philippines on May 4-7 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Get the best deals and test drive the latest models from Ford, GAC, GWM, Honda, Hyundai, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota, and WM. The Autofocus Summer Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival, presented by Caltex Philippines. The one-stop shop for the latest car models in cooperation with SM Offices and SM Mall of Asia Complex. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. This car view takes a look at the Toyota GRS, the top-of-the-line variant of Toyota's best-selling subcompact sedan. After it was first rolled out, the Toyota Vios earned a reputation as a practical, affordable, and reliable subcompact sedan. A suitable entry-level Toyota with all the accompanying attributes attached to the country's number one car brand. Later on, the Vios added Sporty to its rep, earned on the track through the Vios Cup. Lately, Toyota seeks to reinforce that Sporty rep with a 2022 Toyota Vios GRS. And that it does with the Gazoo Racing-inspired aero kit and add-on that adds a few millimeters to the Vios, making the GRS variant 4,467 millimeters long, 1,730 millimeters wide, and 1,475 millimeters tall. The Vios GRS exude a sporty vibe with front bumper skirt, side skirt, and rear bumper skirt, as well as the rear spoiler and especially the piano black mesh type grille. It shares the three-tier LED headlamp found in the Vios 1.5G variant as well as the rear LED combination lamps with line guide, LED front fog lamps, fin type antenna, and the 16-inch alloy wheels with the 195-50R16 tires. The Vios GRS can also be distinguished by the piano black outer mirrors with the integrated side turn lamps and the outside grip type door handle. The piano black exterior accents certainly look quite sporty in the Vios GRS in the super red V color. The GRS also comes in white pearl crystal shine and black one. In here, the Vios GRS also got the sporty treatment using suede and synthetic leather with stitching for the seats and real leather. Again with stitching for the steering wheel and the shift lever and knob. The Optitron meter gauge on the instrument panel with the 4.2 TFT multi-information display also looks quite sporty. Toyota made sure the Vios GRS doesn't lack for the comfort and convenience features also found in the competition. It's got wireless door locks with smart entry system as well as a push-button start. It's got speed-sensing power door locks, power windows, and power retractable outer windows, as well as automatic air conditioning. The infotainment system should not disappoint even though it only has a 6.75 inch display, but it does have AM FM radio, auxiliary and USB ports, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, SDL, voice command and 6 speakers. As found by Vios Cup racers, Toyota Subcup accident can be quite a performer on the track as well as on city streets, highways, and twisty mountain roads. The 2022 Vios 1.5 GRS is powered by the 2NRFE 1496cc inline 4 DOHC gasoline engine, a dual VVTI at 16 valves that generates 107 PS and maxes out at 140 Nm of torque. The engine is mated to a 10 continuously variable transmission with sequential control that sends power and torque to the front wheels. On the GRS, the driver can select two drive modes, Eco to save on fuel and Sport for more spirited driving. Paddle shifters give the driver greater control over gear shifts, quite handy in situations like steep inclines and drops. 
The steering wheel column tilts to aid in finding comfortable and optimum driving positions. The steering wheel also comes with controls for audio. The VIA suspension system features the standard front McPherson strut and rear torsion beam combo. The VS GRS uses brake discs on all four wheels, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. Toyota also also equipped the VOS 1.5 GRS with driver assist and safety features enough to stay with the competition. These include anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, hill start assist, and vehicle stability control. Also added to the GRS are SRS airbags for driver and front seat passenger, side airbags, as well as curtain shield and knee airbags. It also comes standard with child lock, isofix, and teether anchors, as well as three-point seat bus for five. Toyota VS GRS got Gazoo Racing Thrill to the perfectly practical, reliable, safe, and comfortable subcompact sedan. It is now difficult to stand out in the all too crowded local subcompact sedan market. But Toyota has done enough with the Vios 1.5 GRS to remain among the top choices in the segment for buyers. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Today we're going to talk about a topic that's probably the most gus gus topic in the entire automotive universe. Changing the oil in your car. The most frequently asked question is, what oil should I use? And to answer that, very simple. Check your owner's manual. It's in there somewhere and it tells you what kind of oil that you should use. Just for kicks, we're changing the oil of this Mitsubishi Montero and then we flip to the section where it says maintenance. And here we have selection of engine oil. Now granted, this is not the most straightforward answer because it gives you a lot of different numbers and one look, most people would actually turn away and say, ah, I have no idea what this says and I don't understand it. But most other manuals will tell you the exact specification of oil that you're going to use. And it's always a number followed by a W, followed by a dash, and another number. And we're going to explain those numbers in a little bit, but if you just want to check it out, there are about a million YouTube videos out there that says how to explain and how to read these oil specification numbers. We're not going to do any of that, you can check that out, but we're just going to basically semi-dumb it down for everybody. Eliminate all the technical talk and all of that stuff. So this is your motor oil. Different brands, different branding. But the important thing is this one here, these numbers. SAE 10W40. Every oil label has this. Since we're in the Philippines, there's only two numbers that you should remember. These last two. It's either 30 or 40. Any of them will work on any car here. The first number here with the W, we don't care because W here stands for winter. And since we're in the Philippines and winter is never going to happen here. So all you have to do is remember, 40 or 30 will work for any car that's sold in this country. It doesn't matter what oil brand that you have, it doesn't matter who makes it, what additives, all of them will work, irregardless. Just don't put cooking oil in it. That's kind of a dumb no-brainer. It goes without saying that when you buy a car, maintenance is part of it. Your engine has moving metal parts inside. The oil is the film in the barrier that prevents these two parts from rubbing against each other too much. It's no-brainer to think that if you rub two pieces of metal together, heat will be generated and metal will come off. If you don't have any oil in your engine, you're going to have a very, very short engine life. So you have to change the oil regularly. It's one of the easiest and most sure-fired ways to keep your engine happy and running long. Now, as for oil change intervals, before, back in the old days, it can be as low as 5,000 because of mineral oil. But now, 10,000, 15,000, even 20,000 intervals is not a problem anymore. Almost oils right now are fully synthetic because that's what the market demands. There are still some oils that are mineral, meaning straight from the ground, they process it, no additives, no nothing, no further processing, that's mineral oil. Synthetic oil has other additives and Every brand has their own, the same way that one soap has luxury fragrance, the other soap has extra bubbles. These are the few things that differentiate the brands from each other. So that's where the synthetic comes from. The additional processing 
after the base oil has been processed. And by the way, as far as manufacturing goes, all oil comes from Saudi Arabia. There's no oil pump from Germany, there's no oil pump from France, there's no oil pump from the Philippines, no. All of these things come from Saudi Arabia. The oil manufacturers buy this by the barrel in bulk as the base material, which consists of 90 to about 95% of the volume of the oil. It's all the same. It's the additives that make it different. The same way that gasoline is, any brand that you hear out there, you hear it often enough, it'll work on your car. <laughs> With every change oil, it is recommended that you change your oil filter, but I will say it is required that you change your oil filter. So as the name says, this is a filter. Its job is to filter and get dirty. Once this is full of dirt and debris and from inside the engine, it has nowhere else to go. So where do you think it's gonna go? It's gonna go back inside the oil and goes in, inside your engine. It keeps going round and round inside the engine with all that dirt and debris. So 200, 300 bucks gives you a lot of peace of mind. And that's how you do an oil change. Pretty simple, it takes less than an hour. You can actually do it yourself at home. Uh, you and probably one of your friends. Then beer na lang yung pangbayad. That's our feature in all of media this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's all the focus this week. We hope you have found this episode of your Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.